It is about 7 p.m. right now, and it is supposed to continue snowing through the night. Right now, I would say we have about five inches of snow. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It's 7 a.m. Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Simba. Simba jumped on the bed this morning. He actually slept on the bed most of the night. Good morning, Stella. How are you today, Stella? We are supposed to get a nor'easter today. We're supposed to get rain and then a lot of snow, up to two feet. So I'm hoping we don't get that much snow. Hello, Stella. How are you today? Good morning, Boo. Did you sleep well? 7.58 a.m. Hello, Splash. The cats have been hanging out waiting for breakfast. Hello, Simba. Hello, Boo. Hello, Stella. Okay, it is 8 a.m. And we are going to have a little cat buffet here. We have the wheatgrass. And we have the party platter. We are going to put some crunchies on the party platter. And here's Simba. He's already laying by the party platter. Here's Boo. And there's Splash. I'm not sure where Stella is. Okay, I just put it, Stella. Go be nice to Boo today. Okay. I put crunchies in the party platter, but nobody wants to eat out of the party platter for whatever reason. There's some crunch. But there are some crunchies that I gave to Stella. Right now, Stella's giving Boo dirty look. Stella, you want some crunchies? Eat your crunchies, Stella. Simba, eat your crunchies. So far, she's not growling or anything, which is good. And there's Splash. Good boy, Boo. You ate all your crunchies. I just threw some crunchies to splash. I put more crunchies in the party platter. It looks like Simba will eat them. Boo staring at Stella's crunchies. Those are the crunchies that I put for Stella, but she moved over. Stella's by the front door now. Boo's afraid to eat them. You're a good boy, Boo. You'll be a good boy. That's your crunchies. Splash moved in closer, so I just gave him some crunchies also. Splash is getting braver. Here we have the three boys eating crunchies. I don't want to give them too many crunchies because they have not had their breakfast yet. This is just kind of like an appetizer for their breakfast. Right now it is about 8.30 a.m. and there are still crunchies in the feeder outside. Those were dispensed for breakfast. And this is the Thermal Kitty Cafe. I'm just about to give Hydrox some breakfast and this, some wet food, and some new water. What's going on here? So Boo is on free roam this morning, but the cats wanted to come upstairs. I gave them their food downstairs and um, I shut the door so they can hang out down there for a while. 
but they were banging on the door. They wanted to come up, so I let them up. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm working from home today because it's a snow day. It just started snowing, so if they can't behave, you're going to have to be separated. Simba's just hanging out on the rug, kind of watching Boo. Boo's laying next to Stella's cardboard cat house. I'd say they're about five feet away from each other. Simbo looks curious about Boo. 9.17 a.m. Simba is still hanging out on the rug, but he keeps looking out the windows. He is dying to go and look out the windows. Like, he really wants to jump onto the top of the cat towers and look out. But he doesn't want to walk past Boo. Boo's kind of like guarding the cat towers right now. I'm sitting here working on my laptop and Stella has been staring at me. I think she wants to play. Stella, do you want to play? It is now 12.45 p.m. And the cats all took a little morning nap, or they relaxed at least. And right now I took Boo out of his room. And we're gonna have some crunchies, not a lot of crunchies, just a few crunchies, but I just wanna see what's going on with the cats. So maybe we'll just hang out here for a little while without crunchies and see what happens. Splash has been sleeping on my bed. Every time I walk into my room, he like runs off the bed. But then he obviously goes back on the bed because when I walk into my room again, he runs off the bed. He even hissed at me. Okay guys, we're gonna hang out first. I gave Stella some crunchies, but she's not eating them. She's just gonna let them sit there. Boo has some crunchies, and Simba has some crunchies. Stella's not eating her crunchies, but she's letting Simba eat them. So far, so good. And Boo's been sitting here eating his crunchies. My right, Boo! Okay, it's 12.55 p.m. right now. I'm sitting here with Boo and Stella. And I've been petting Stella, and I've been petting Boo. And I've even been petting both of them at the same time. Which they're not happy about. They don't like it when I pet them both at the same time. Right, Boo? Boo says, only pet me. And Stella says, only pet me. Right, Boo? I just put the pizza on the floor between them. And then I put Stella's crunchies there and Boo's crunchies there. And Boo ate his crunchies. And Stella's not eating hers. Oh, is she going to eat her crunchies? Stella, you going to eat your crunchies? I hope she's not going to smack Boo. Right here, Stella. You going to eat your crunchies? I hope she's not going to make a poop. I just moved the pizza a little bit closer to Stella. I gave Stella two more crunchies 
And then I give Boo more crunchies and he ate his crunchies. But he's not eating Stella's crunchies. And Stella says, I dare you to eat my crunchies. Right, Stella? So I rotated the pizza and these are Stella's crunchies. They used to be over there, but I rotated the pizza and Boo will not touch the crunchies. Boo, eat the crunchies. Okay, now he's eating them. And Stella's watching. Stella, Stella, that's your boyfriend. That's your boyfriend, Boo. It might even be your brother, Boo. Stella, you know Boo, he's your friend. Boo is your friend, Stella. He's your friend. You like him. Stella, you like Boo. You like Boo. You love Boo, Stella. Stella, you love Boo. You like him. Boo likes you. Right, Stella? Stella, Boo likes you. Boo, you like Stella, right? She's your girl. She's your girlfriend because she's so pretty. Right, Boo? Because she's so smart. Because she's so athletic. Because she took such good care of her babies. Right, Boo? You love Stella, Boo, right? 1.06 p.m. Stella's still staring at Boo, but at least she's turned herself around. It's mail time. Let's open some packages. Right, Simba? Okay, the first thing we have to open is an envelope. Look how cute it looks like Simba. There's two little cats sleeping in the straw. Looks like the cat's on their wheatgrass bed. Their wheatgrass bed is starting to look like straw. That's really cute. It says, Hi Boo, Stella, Simba, Splash, and Hydrox. I just love watching you kitties on YouTube. It just makes my day. So happy you all have a wonderful home. Your friend, Linda Madden. Thank you so much, Linda Madden, for this awesome card. It's really nice of you to send it to the cats, and uh, I'll put it up in Boo's room as a little decoration. Thank you. Okay, on to the next envelope. Let's open this one. It says, Hi, Lucky Feral's mom. I so much enjoy watching all the cats become adorable pets, so well loved and cared for. Coco pellets are arriving too from Georgie Archer. Well, thank you so much, Georgie Archer. That was very nice of you to send something. We have a Whole Foods gift card, $25 to Whole Foods. Thank you so much, Georgie. I'm very often in Whole Foods and uh, this will definitely come in handy when I want to pick up a quick and healthy meal. So uh, thank you very much. Okay, what do we have here? Another envelope. Oh, wow. Check this out. We have a Pet Remedy De-Stress and Calming Plug-in Diffuser. Uh, so this will be the second diffuser that I have. And we also have a Pet Remedy Natural De-Stress and Calming Spray. This was actually sent to me from Pet Remedy themselves, uh, the company. They found some Lucky Ferrell's videos online and they thought I might like their products. And I told them, well, I already use your products. I love your products. Your products are awesome. So they sent me some more. So what I was thinking is now that I have two diffusers, I could put another diffuser downstairs and um, we can see how that goes. Maybe uh, that'll help uh, keep Stella in a better mood. So we'll see. But um, thank you so much to uh, everyone at Pet Remedy. Okay, then we have this package. So check this out. These are the Fiber Grow Cocoa Quar 100% biodegradable growing medium. Since I've been using this cocoa coir material to grow 
the wheatgrass. I really like it as a growing medium for uh, plants. So I'm really curious to see what happens if I start plants in it for my garden this year or for my yard this year and uh, just to see how that goes so uh, thank you so much for sending these that's really awesome and then they gave bonus moringa seeds i wonder if i could grow moringa um i bought some moringa tea not too long ago i haven't drank it yet um, i don't really know much about moringa thank you so much georgie for sending this that was really really nice of you Okay, now we have a box. I don't know where Simba went. I don't know where any of the cats are. I think they're all taking their afternoon nap right now. Which is good because it means I get a lot done when they're sleeping. This is Hi Lucky, enjoy your gift from Janet Stemper. Well, thank you so much, Janet. We have a tablet cover. I am so excited. I've been looking for a cover for my new tablet. And I haven't been happy with anything that I've seen in the stores. And this is super cute. Look at that. Look at that. It's all cats. It's like a cat drawing. I could probably even color this in if I wanted to. Isn't that cool? And this is what the inside looks like. And uh, this is for an Amazon Fire tablet. I uh, purchased one a few weeks ago because they are super cheap right now. Um, so this is a 10 inch Amazon Fire tablet. It's an Android tablet and they're selling for $149. You can get, um, I think it's the seven inch Amazon Fire tablets for only $49.99, which for a tablet is a great deal. And since I do uh, have Amazon Prime, um, a lot of the Amazon content is very easily accessible from within the Amazon Fire tablet. Um, they have like a section for uh, books and uh, purchases and also videos and music and stuff like that so uh, I really like the Amazon Fire tablet I um, compared to my Samsung tablet it's a lot lot better and the Samsung was more expensive um, and the battery life has been great on the Amazon tablet the only thing that I don't like about the Amazon tablet is the fact that Amazon is currently at war with Google and uh, none of the Google apps, especially the YouTube apps, are available on the Amazon App Store for the tablet. So even though YouTube has an app for Android devices, it's not available on the Amazon Store for Amazon tablets because of the rift between Google and Amazon. Now they do have other uh, YouTube apps that you can use to watch videos, but as far as like um, a creator app where you manage your channel, they don't have it. So that is the biggest bad thing about the tablet. Other than that, the tablet's amazing. And here it is in its new case. It fits perfectly. And uh, I really like this case because um, it's very versatile. Like if you want to watch it, you can angle it like this. Um, and it has this magnetic closure. Then this has um, like a loop if you want to put like a stylus in here um, for use on the screen. And then even on the back, I'm not sure what this is for, but that's that has some use. I have to figure that out. But it also has it also has the strap uh, that goes on the front. So this will definitely keep the tablet very well protected as long as I don't drop it it should be fine and um, even if I drop it I think it'll be fine the reason I say that is because uh, the first tablet I ever owned was an iPad and uh, the screen is cracked in a million places because I dropped it and that was before I learned to use really good cases like this I had the case I had the cover for it that Apple sells and it offers like no protection. So um, 
Thank you so much, Janet. I am so excited uh, to use this, and uh, it will definitely come in handy. So uh, thank you again. Okay, and then we have another box, and look how cute this box is. It is a Peanuts box. And it came all the way from Germany. It's a DHL pack set. Look how cute. And that's what it looks like. So let's open this. This is going to be a little bit tricky to open, I think. Maybe not. Um, we'll see how it goes. This is exciting. We have a note. It says Frohe Ostern, which means Happy Easter. Pretty card. Look at this. Look how cute. Look at what nice fur this cat has. Look at the colors. That's really pretty. And the, the pillow, the color of the pillow matches the color of the fur. I don't know if it was meant to be that way or it's just a coincidence. Also, the cushion and the, uh, the wall, like the wood, everything matches. All the colors match the cat. It says, Dear LF Stella Simba Splash Hydrox and Boo, we wish you all a happy Easter. Here are some treats for you and your cats and some food for Hydrox. We hope you like the marzipan. It is... It is from a world-famous manufacturer here in Lübeck, Germany. Greetings from Heidi, Jürgen, and Baby. Well, thank you so much, Heidi, Jürgen, and Baby. I can't even tell you the last time I had marzipan. We have Vitacraft Posy. I'm not sure exactly how to say that. It's deli sauce. Mit natürlichen Fleischstücken with natural pieces of meat. Sugar-free recipe, grain-free. Mit saftiger Puttenbrust in finer sauce. I don't know what that means, but there's a turkey here. So maybe it's turkey. That's cool. And then we have Dreamies. And this says mit schmackhaftem Lachs. Oh, is that like salmon? Because it says, oh, salmon. Is there anything in English that I would understand? No. There's nothing. Okay, so I'm assuming this is salmon. Thank you. And then we have Dreamy's Mix. The packaging kind of looks like Temptations. And this appears to be chicken and cheese. It says, mit leckerem hoon. So that's chicken. And kuslikum kese. I think, I know I'm pronouncing these wrong, but that would be cheese. So that's chicken and cheese. Cool. And then we have more dreamies. And I believe this is tuna. Mid Himlisham Toonfish. Toonfish. Cool. We have Purina Gourmet Duo with sardines and toonfish. This will be something new for the cats to try. We also have Purina Gourmet Mit Lox und Sea Lox. I don't know what that is. I think one is salmon and cod. I don't know. I don't know what the other one is. Does it say? And then we have another posy with Fleischstückum with natural pieces of meat. Okay. And then it says Mit Zartem Hunchenfilet. In finer sauce. I'm assuming that's uh, chicken fillets. Something new. Then we have mit delicatum kabuljau. I don't know what that means. So there's a fish. And this one has a fish on it. I don't know what kind of fish that is, but it says with natural pieces of fish. Very cool. And this one, I think, I think that's salmon. It says 
Sea lox, is that salmon? With natural pieces of fish. Another fishy one for them to try. Thank you so much. And what do we have in here? Oh my gosh. Are you serious? We have potatoes. Oh my god, are you ki are you kidding? Marzipan kartoffeln, which I believe means marzipan potatoes. Yeah, marzipan potatoes. And this is so crazy because I was watching something on TV. I don't know what I was watching. I don't know if, actually, I don't know if it was on TV or on YouTube. And it was candy potatoes for, actually, I think it was YouTube. It was candy potatoes for East, no, it was candy potatoes. It was candy potatoes for St. Patrick's Day. And this is what they were because they were doing like a taste test. And I remember thinking, oh, that's so cool. I've never had one. Well, guess what? Now I'm going to have one. Not right now, but... Um, but what I'll do is I'll bring these uh, to my Easter celebration and uh, this will be awesome. This will be so cool. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to try these. And then we have Marzipan Classiker Mit Vollmilk Chocolade. Um, so then this is milk chocolate on Marzipan. And then we have Classiker Variationen Mit Zartbitter Chocolade. Um, so I'm assuming this is like a semi-sweet and then this has different flavors. It has espresso, orange, banana, and pistachio. This is so interesting. I've never seen these before and I've never had these before. And here we have the Zartbitter, which is the dark chocolate, um, which is probably going to be my favorite because I am a dark chocolate kind of girl. So, uh, these look really good. And then we have greetings from Lubeck. And this is marzipan pralinen mit zartbitter chocolade. So I think that means marzipan pralines? I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know what that means. Or maybe it's just marzipan with dark chocolate. Oh, wait. It says under here. Oh, yeah. Marzipan pralines with bittersweet chocolate. These are gonna be so good. And then we have marzipan geflimt nach Konigsberger Art. Konigsberg style marzipan. Look how pretty. I don't know if you guys can see because I know there's a lot of reflections, but they look like little pastries. It says the secret of Niederegger marzipan has been handed down from generation to generation in our family run business. That looks so good. Thank you again, Heidi, Jurgen, and Baby. This is a really awesome box of goodies for the cats and for myself. Thank you. Okay, I have to try one of these marzipan potatoes just because I've been wanting to know what they taste like ever since I saw that video that I said I was watching. So this is what they look like. They look like one of those little potatoes. It, they're so cute. And that is what it looks like inside. And these are so good. I love the fact that they're not overly sweet. Sometimes when I get marzipan around here, which hasn't been in a while, they're just like way, way, way too sweet. And these are not too sweet at all. Like. You really get a good taste of the almond and they're really flavorful and they're not gritty at all. Sometimes you get marzipan and it's not very smooth. This is really smooth. These are so yummy. I love the fact that they're not too sweet. I could seriously eat this whole bag. Okay, we have one more box to open. This is a big box. Now there's a smaller box in the big box. There's a few 
smaller boxes and the big box. This says, hi Lucky, hope the whole crew has fun with this, from Lisa Hart. And it says, hi Lucky, enjoy getting organized, from Lisa Hart. Simba has decided this is how he's helping me open packages. Look at all of Simba's stripes. He's looking really stripey right now. Let's open this package. Check it out. We have a set of 12 storage containers with lids and I am so excited to uh, get stuff organized with these storage containers. I just put up some new shelves uh, in the back of my basement. I have like a storage room down there and these are definitely going to help um, get stuff organized, um, specifically cat stuff. So thank you so much, Lisa, for sending these. Okay, and then we have this box. Check this out. It is a Trixie Activity Fun Board. It says it is a cat game, and that kind of looks like Stella. So they, I'm assuming this is kind of like a game where you put crunchies in it and they have to get the crunchies out. It says cats are curious and playful by nature. They need stimulation in order to maintain physical and mental health. Playing with the fun board will provide physical exercise and mental stimulation for cats. It trains the cat's skills and offers a lot of playing fun. The fun board includes a baseboard with five different modules. Each module offers a new activity for your cat. By placing a few favorite treats or a cat toy inside the fun board, the cat's interest will be piqued. The fun board was developed by Helena de Bali. Cats under three months of age or that weigh less than 1.5 kilograms should be served should be supervised while using the fun board. Due to different playing possibilities and levels of difficulty, this toy is suitable for older cats and even those with limited range of movement due to illness. The fun board should be cleaned regularly, dishwasher safe. The booklet included in this game gives tips and tricks on how to design appropriate and fun training program for your cat. And that's what it looks like. So uh, this is gonna be really cool to uh, see how the cats like it and just see how how smart the cats are and how quickly they figure it out. So um, maybe I could even use this uh, to help with integration with Boo and Simba and Stella, for example. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Lisa, for uh, both of these uh, really awesome items. I am going to start using these immediately and uh, We'll figure out a time to, um, I'm gonna film this the first time the cats use that, so I have to figure out when I'm gonna do that, hopefully within the next few days, so thank you very much. It is about 7 p.m. right now, and it is supposed to continue snowing through the night. Right now, I would say we have about five inches of snow, and uh, it's been snowing, it's been raining, it's been snowing, it's been raining, it's going back and forth, and um, it's just like really, wet and slushy snow so hopefully it'll warm up and maybe it'll just melt a lot of the snow so tomorrow won't be as bad uh, right now i am going to give hydrox one of these cans of food this is this is the beyond grain free wild salmon recipe and um yeah i'm gonna clean off that feeding table and give him some food and then uh, he'll be good for the rest of the night. It is about 10.20 p.m. and the cats are just about to get their feeder mice. Hello Stella. Hello Splash. Splash rubs up against Stella. And that's new. Splash is rubbing up against 
self groomer. Splash, you need to rub up against my legs. You gonna rub up against my legs? You want a mouse? Are you gonna do that? Okay, I'm gonna get a mouse. Who wants a mouse? Who wants a mouse? Okay, I put one mouse here, one mouse here, and another mouse here. Which Stella is really good at getting the crunchies out of. And Stella, I have never seen Stella like beat up on Simba or Splash for sharing a mouse with her. And I think that's really interesting. Like she knows if it's a mouse to share it. Boo just got his feeder mouse. Boo's on free roam tonight. So he's eating his crunchies out of the mouse. He eats so fast. It's like ridiculous how fast Boo eats. And I just looked out the window like one minute ago and Hydrox was eating food out of the feeder. You can see his cat tracks. Those cat tracks were not there just like a minute ago when I was looking outside, so. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.